I'm Bob Keeshan, and welcome to CBS Story Break. I'd like to tell you about some friends of mine. Some, like Tom Sawyer and Robin Hood, have been my friends for a long time. Others, like Encyclopedia Brown and Ramona, are people I've met more recently. They're all friends that I have found in books. And once you make friends like that, they're your friends for life. In today's story break, we'll meet some friends who come to us from another book. This is a top secret project. Get out of here. Come on, Max. We don't have any secrets. What are you building? I can't tell you what it is. Why not? Because I don't know. All I have are these instructions, but it doesn't say what it does. Where did all this stuff come from? Mr. Cooper was having a yard sale, and he found that old crate in his attic. He thinks it was left there by Professor Flybender. Flybender? <laughs> that crackpot inventor? Flybender was a lunatic. He... Oh, what's this? Flybender's fantastic, fully guaranteed time machine. A time machine? Crud. I wasted my whole afternoon on a hunk of junk. Maybe not. It's guaranteed. This could be our hot rod into history. Just think, we could be Wild West cowboys or team up with Blackbeard's pirates. Forget it. Time travel is impossible. I'm gonna fix something to eat. Let's see. Jolly old England. Oh, that'd be a trip. Don't you want some action, adventure, and excitement? Nope. Just a tuna sandwich. Wonder what this button does. Hey! Look at it! See, I told you it wouldn't work. is in big trouble. We'll return after these messages. I don't get it. How come you turned into a horse? Beats me. Guess the time machine mixed up my molecules. Do you think you're gonna be a horse forever? Well, who knows? I guess at least as long as we stay back in time. Hmm. Before we left, I set the dial to one. I wonder if that means one hour, or one day, or one year. Uh-oh. Someone's coming. Meow! Shh. I'll do the talking. Don't my eyes deceive at me? I could take it be for my own twin brother. Yeah, we do it look alike. Uh, how about it that? Thy horse weareth a strange device. <laughs> yeah, it's the latest style in harnesses. Greetings. I am Sir Robert of Bletchingley. Hi, I'm Steve of the Valley. Dare not touch me. I have eat 24-hour spots. Alas, I was traveling to Cramden Castle to be the guest of honor at the Earl's Banquet. But now, because of ye wretched spots, I feareth to approach. What a bummer. 
Looks like a pretty live castle. Does it have a moat and all that gross stuff? Gross? I knoweth not from gross. I am a stranger to these parts. I have never met the Earl, even though I am to be betrothed to his daughter. Alas, I... Hark! Wilt thou taketh my place? Huh? If I do not appear at the banquet, the Earl will be insulted. But not if he thinketh thou art me. Pray accept. Tomorrow I shall meet thee at the castle, and we will trade places. Hmm. I'm not really dressed for a banquet. Thou can wear my spare tunic. Well, okay. Sounds cool. Take a donkey. Come on, stop complaining. I know you're enjoying this. How do you know? You're wagging your tail. That's not happiness. I'm swatting flies. Uh. Welcome, Sir Robert. I am the Earl of Cramden. I am honored by your presence. The honor is mine, Your Honor. I mean, you're earlish. Let me down. Sir Robert, at last! Lady Elizabeth, it's not becoming to show such enthusiasm. <clears throat> Don't fret, Squire Gathergoods. After all, soon Sir Robert and Lady Elizabeth will be betrothed. What does betrothed mean? <laughs> I'll tell you later. After such a long journey, you must be weakened with hunger. Our chef hath prepared thy favorite dishes for tonight's banquet. And for your steed, we've prepared the finest royal hay. Sir Beavis, I can't stand that brute. So, you are the legendary Sir Robert. Verily, thou looketh more like a pipsqueak. I challenge thee for the hand of the fair Lady Elizabeth. Hey, what's the idea of littering? You are so heroic, Sir Robert, to pick up Sir Beavis' gauntlet and accept his challenge. I am? I did? No one has ever bested Sir Beavis in a joust. Why, is he that good? No. I cheat. I declare the tournament to begin immediately. Prepare to meet thy doom. Ah, Squire Gathergoods. Bring the jousting equipment inside so I might examine it. Uh, but the weapons have already been approved by the Earl. There's a pouch of gold in it for you. Maybe we should split before someone around here gets hurt. Relax. I happen to know that jousting is more or less the safest of all the deadly sports in medieval England. But Sir Beavis bragged to me about being a cheater. Nah, he was probably just kidding. This will cut short Sir Robert's victory. Father, must I marry Sir Beavis if he wins the tournament? I'm afraid so. But fear not, Sir Robert's jousting skills are legendary. Then, by the authority vested in me by the Earl of Cramden, I declare this tourney to commence. In this corner, 137 pounds of courage, the rugged redhead from Bletchingley, Sir Robert. Yay! And his 
opponent tipping the scales at 195 pounds of pure meanness, the Hampshire Mauler, Sir Vives! This is crazy. I don't even know how to joust. No problem. Just watch Sir Beavis and do whatever he does. But what if he knocks me to the ground? Try not to land on your head. A selectus, thy weapons. Hmm. I think I'll take... I guess these'll do. Come out and shake his hands. <laughs> Just begin! Hooray! You know, this is kind of fun. All I gotta do is knock him off his horse and I'm a hero. Come on, giddy up. That's easy for you to say. Uh-oh. I'll smash you to smithereens. I'll batter you to bits! Here goes nothing. to dine with us, Sir Beavis. You lose it well. We'll see about that, won't we? But where is our honored guest? Don't be ridiculous. You can't come to the banquet. And let you feast on roasts and turkeys while I'm grazing on a bale of hay? No way! <laughs> Betrothed means. It means you're gonna marry Elizabeth. giveth me great pleasure to announce the imminent betrothal of my daughter to the gallant Sir Robert. Yeah! Yeah! Wouldst thou let thy daughter wed a man who wishes her evil? That is a serious charge, Sir Beavis. It approaches treason. 
I accuse Sir Robert of sorcery. Impossible. <laughs> oh, yeah? Prove it. I, uh, fortunately, I brought my crystal ball with me. Yeah, let's see what it says. Hmm. It's a bit uh, cloudy in there, with a 30% chance of rain. Uh, it's true. Lady Elizabeth's life is in danger. I don't care what the silly crystal says. With this glass, I toast Sir Robert. <laughs> What happened? Wake up! See, Sir Robert! Throw him in the dungeon! Yes, story break. Anyone to take the word of an evil sorcerer? I'm not a sorcerer. Maybe you can take a message to the Earl. Explain to him that I... The Earl is busy attending to the Lady Elizabeth. If she doth not awaken from your spell by morning, you will visit me torture chamber. to talk me into such treachery. I paid you well. Button thy lip or I shall button it, it for you. This, it will be my head if the Earl finds out I put a potion in Lady Elizabeth. Hold thy tongue! No one needeth know our secret unless you blabbeth. Besides, when I awaken Lady Elizabeth with this elixir, I shall be her hero and she will marry me. Marriage? But you told me you don't really love her. What I love is Cramden Castle and its wealth. As her husband, I shall depose the Earl and take over his domain. I've got to get Steve out of the dungeon. But how? just went on duty. Dare thou question the order of thy Earl, or doth thou desire to be a guest in thy own torture chamber? Nay, uh, I go, I go. Good work, Max. Stand back. Hurry, Sir Beavis is going to give Lady Liz an elixir to wake her up. Hey, that's great! No, it isn't. I don't have time to explain. We've got to stop him before he reaches her bedroom. Please, wake up, my darling. Oh, dear, dear. Uh, Sir Beavis wishes to be admitted, Your Excellency. I bring a cure to the sorcerer's spell. If thou canst awaken my daughter, I will betroth her to you and granteth you half the wealth of my kingdom. Wouldst thou mind affixing thy signature and seal to this scroll? Half of whatever I have will be yours. My gold, my properties. So long as you can break this terrible spell. Steady, Max. I'm doing my best. Quick, I think I hear someone. If you will seal the document with thy ring. Yes, yes. Now break the spell. One drop upon her lip is all it requires. 
It's not working. I I'll try some more. I knew it, Beavis. I told you we shouldn't have put the potion in. Shh. You what? Blabbermouth! I have the antidote. How did you get out of the dungeon? Let's just say I got time off for good behavior. <sighs> You've lifted the spell. I shall reward you handsomely. Hey, no problem. Where, where am I? What happened? You were a victim of a vile deed by Sir Beavis, and he shall pay most terribly. Get out of my way! Thinkest thou to escape? Huh? But you're in there! You can't be out here! Bravo, Sir Robert! A talking horse! Dead zooks! You mustn't let Sir Beavis get away! Fear not! That knave won't escape! Max, catch me! I'll try! Hurry up and fall! What's happening? Where are you? Oh, no, Max, you turned into a cat. Wrong. I'm okay. I just dropped my glasses when I landed up here. Well, good old Professor Flybender's fully guaranteed time machine worked. Well, there's still one place left where we can take the time machine. Really? Where? To the junkyard. <laughs> and now this message. 